out here at Kachikawa practice fields here in Tempe. Max Cepeda, Gabby Chernoff here for Cronkite Sports on the first official day of 2024 spring football for Arizona State. And obviously, Gabby, the new era of the Big 12 coming this August. And head coach Kelly Dill Kenny Dillingham really believes that even with a new offensive coordinator, Marcus Arroyo, that there is a new standard that he feels like everyone in this locker room kind of really has bought into so far. Yeah, I think when you go three and nine, like you mentioned, no player, no coach wants to see that from your team. You kind of have to make adjustments. You have to set that new standard. And a period of transition is what I would call the best term to describe these past two years for Sun Devil football. You know, the move from the Pac-12 to the Big 12, Kenny Dillingham's first year as head coach last year. He said there were still some things he was trying to kind of pull out of the guys that he wanted to see on and off the field. He was trying to get to know them, push that effort out of them. But now he knows them. It's time to focus on the football, and he can dedicate a lot more of his attention to that this year, which him and players reiterated a lot after today's practice. Yeah, I would say just the minimum standard. Like if you watch our guys finish today, they're running to the ball. But it's not every single play that I have to run down and coach effort. We can actually coach the football a little bit more than we could last year. This year, I know you. Now my job is to make you uncomfortable. It pulls the respect out of you. Um, I see all the guys are engaged. Um, everyone's locked in, so it was, it was cool to have have that that presence, knowing you have to pay attention, or you're either going to get chewed out, or you're not going to play. Now, Gabby, reverting away from some specific players, what do you feel like is going to be different about the offensive game plan after what we saw last year, considering the fact that Marcus Arroyo has now firmly embraced his role as offensive coordinator and is going to necessarily look definitely different from last year, considering the new guys out in that offense. Yeah, I think a big underlying takeaway that I got from today's practice from the coaches after is that while you do have to be detail oriented, sometimes focus on those little things. Obviously, they're important. It seems like the offensive coaching staff has really simplified their approach to coaching. They have a clear cut way of what it's going to take to win games, and they kind of dumb down that goal and a way to communicate that goal to their players and to us here today as well. Yeah, it's football. You know, we have to block and tackle. It's the simplest game known to man. If you block well and you tackle well, you're going to win a lot. If you block poorly and tackle poorly, you're going to lose a lot. Uh, college football is about explosive plays, plain and simple. If you look at the teams who win football games, they have more explosive plays than the teams that don't win football games. Gabby, it's certainly going to be very interesting to see how that offensive game plan looks, especially as we still have six more weeks of this spring ball to go to until, of course, the spring game in late April. We will have all of the coverage for you here on both our social pages here on Cronkite Sports as well as CronkiteSports.com for all the latest information as we get through all of spring ball leading to the spring game on April 26th.